Hi everyone, I'm Mitali and I'm going to be talking about the Atlassian Software Engineer interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, what interviewers look at and a bunch of tips for each round. Quick intro, I'm from Prepfully. This video has been put together by Atlassian Software Engineers who are also interview coaches on Prepfully. They've coached hundreds of candidates through the process and can be booked directly on the website if you need more personalized guidance. Right then, moving on to the interview. The Atlassian Software Engineer interview process kicks off with a carrot interview, an online assessment, which is a pretty straightforward round where you tackle basic HTML, CSS, and JS questions. Beyond that, you will encounter five types of rounds. Up to two coding interviews, one full stack craft interview, one system design interview, one management interview, one values or behavioral interview. Let's deep dive into each stage. So the coding interview is typically held in two parts. One, a data structures interview for backend roles and the other, a code design interview for frontend roles code design. During the code design interview, they usually ask to write and run a code in a browser for a simple interactive UI. You will have the option to choose the programming language you want to work with. So make sure you have your IDE set up with a framework you're comfortable with, like React or Vue. More importantly, thoroughly practice Atlassian tagged late code questions and other standard top interview questions. As for the data structures interview, it will focus on data structures and algorithms. Make sure you practice medium to hard level DSA questions on platforms like LeetCode or HackerRank. Remember, they care more about how you think and solve problems. So be ready to explain your design choices as you code. Prepfully has a bunch of Atlassian software engineers with a ton of experiences who can coach you in this regard. Book a one-on-one -on -one mock session with them directly using the link in the description box. Right then, on to the next round, the full stack craft interview. This one is a 60 minute session that covers both front end and back end technologies, databases, APIs, and deployment processes. They'll want to see how well you understand the interactions between different parts of a web application. So make sure to brush up on both front end, that is HTML, CSS, JavaScript frameworks, and backend, Node.js, Express database technologies, and are able to discuss their role in web development. Also, be ready to explain complex concepts in a straightforward manner, as the interviewer will assess not only your knowledge, but your ability to communicate effectively as well. Right then, next is the system design interview that focuses on your ability to design a solution to a specific problem always eventually at scale. So how do you go about it? Four tips. Once you're presented with a problem or design scenario, start by asking clarifying questions about technical or functional requirements. This is key because there's no one size fits all solution. Probing for specifics will help you tailor your design to meet the expectations. Then comes the actual designing you'll be provided with a virtual whiteboard tool to help visualize and diagram your solution, as well as make any necessary calculations. Now, the key here is to develop a solid high-level design within the first half an hour. So make sure to keep a steady pace and communicate your thought process clearly. We recommend you start with a high-level outline before delving into the nitty-gritty details of different components. Once you've completed the design, Discuss and refine your design with the interviewer. They may ask to optimize your design for specific constraints or consider alternative approaches. How do you determine if the system is functioning correctly? Are there any potential bottlenecks within the design? How do the various components of the system interact with one another? How can the system scale effectively? How would you handle an unexpected surge in user traffic? Can you outline the failover and recovery mechanisms implemented in the design? 
factor in all of that feedback and come up with a design that fulfills all the required performance metrics. Okay, quickly then, let's move on to the management round. This one is typically one-on-one -on -one with either the hiring manager or a senior manager from the team. They'll ask questions on stuff like what motivates you and how you might add value to the company as a whole and other behavioral questions. It's important that you have specific examples ready for every question from your past experiences to back up your responses. The same goes with the final values interview, which focuses entirely on behavioral questions. You'll need to think ahead and pinpoint experiences that highlight how you handle challenging projects, times when you held out with teammates, or when you took the initiative, etc. Your answers should align with Atlassian's five core values like open company, no bullshit, and build with heart and balance, and so on. You can schedule a behavioral style mock interview with one of Atlassian's software engineers on Prepfully. Links in the description box. Anyway, that's all for this guide then. Lots of additional resources in the description below. Don't forget to check them out. Thanks and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully, and we hope you totally rock your interview.